You're asking me what love is. And suggesting that Ragnar did not actually love me. I am. Allow me to pose a question to you, then. If Ragnar had no love in his heart, then in your opinion, who in the world properly embodies love? That man lying there. You see? <laughs> When he died, he became more beautiful than anyone among the living. You might say that he is love itself. No longer will he hate, no longer make war, no longer will he plunder. Here, he will lie abandoned, and he will unbegrudgingly provide beasts and insects alike with his flesh. Though he will lie exposed to the wind and the rain, he will not utter a single word of complaint. It is death alone which completes a human being. The essence of love, you're saying, is death. Yes. What about how parents feel? Husbands and wives? Or the way that Ragnar seems to cherish me and I him. What do you call that feeling? I call it discrimination. It is not much different than the way one flatters a king, yet whips a slave. To Sir Ragnar, you were precious. Probably more precious than anyone else in the world. I dare say more precious than even his own life. But those incredibly tender feelings he felt towards you were far too narrow. I see. I think I get it now. It is as if a fog has been lifted. Understand. This snow. It's love, isn't it? That's right. The sky. The sun. The blowing wind. The trees. The mountains. And yet. It is said that we ended up becoming such wretched creatures because of our distant ancestors. They went against God's wishes. They sinned. And so they, we were exiled from paradise. <laughs>